Hey guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, aka Soraya. And before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to our Heavenly Father. All right, you guys, I got a weekend project for you guys. Now, I know this is not the weekend. Uh, I started to upload this video on Friday, but I decided to go ahead and let you guys know about this project, this weekend project today, just in case you got some other whips you want to go ahead and complete before you start this project, or maybe you are a little bit slower crocheter. Instead of taking a weekend, it may take you an extra day or two. So I decided to go ahead and let you guys know about this beautiful vest that you can create over the weekend. Now, it's just a simple vest. It's in white. It comes down to my thighs. The way that I got this, um, the way that I got my phone camera set up, you're not going to see it full length. I will have it on my mannequin and pop a picture in here so you guys can see it full length. Now, I made this tutorial, you guys. It's fun. It's a match stitch. It works up easily. You're going to have so much fun creating this. So it has a drawstring. It has a drawstring around the waist. But once you make it, you can make it into your own. The tutorial is going to be with the drawstring, but you can also make it with a button as well. You know, tweak it. Now, here's another color uh, that I have available which is this one in these fun colors right here. This is a better view of it. I absolutely love this. So you could do it in a solid print color like I have it here in white, but take some of your yarn, have fun. Spring is right around the corner. And if you got some of those spring looking colors like the pinks and the yellows and the teals and the gray, make you one of these and you will absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I'm telling you, I enjoy, I enjoy making this right here and I enjoy sharing it as well. And so many of you guys, because this is a tutorial that uh, I've already created and some of you guys um, purchased the pattern, but the pattern is now free. So many of you guys made it in so many exotic looking colors. So I really, really enjoyed you guys participating. I want you guys, I want to do a slideshow. I want you guys, once you finish with your, uh, your vest, I want you to email me a picture of it. My email address will be in my description box below. I want you guys to email me a picture of it and then I'm going to do a slideshow and show everybody the colors that you guys chose. If you did any moderation, moderation, I don't know, is that the word? If you did any changes to it, I would like to you know, share that as well. So we're gonna have so much fun making these vests, I'm telling you. So again, get your yarn out. It doesn't, it may, you may think it takes a whole lot of yarn, but it really doesn't. I'm thinking that this white one that I have on, and this is thigh length. It comes to my thighs with the drawstring. I believe I used two skeins of mainstay yarn. Yeah, I used it, two skeins of the mainstay yarn. So if you got you two skeins, four skeins of yarn, you're good to go. Now, that depends on your size. This uh, one that I have on and the way that I made this one here is a one size fits most. So that will be from anywhere from a small to a XL. The drawstring would either give you some give, you know, so you can bring it in or in case you need to open it up a little bit. If you are larger than um, plus size, or uh, larger than X large, then make sure you have at least three skeins of yarn to get to the size that you that fits you. Okay, don't be discouraged because you know if the pattern is just that easy, where you could be like, you know what, 
I can whip that up with uh, two or three skeins of yarn and I can have me a beautiful vest by the weekend or before the week is out that these are great just to throw over like I got my t-shirt on or you could throw it over your dress or you could throw it over whatever your, your top you could throw it over whatever you want to and also when I initially made this one here it was really for like um you can make it in cotton so you can have it as a beach cover-up so you just got on your uh your beach items and you just want something just to go around you to be a little bit more modest this is really, really awesome to make for yourself or for someone else. Now, this one here is available for sale. This one is mine. But if you like these colors that you are seeing here, uh, let me know in the comments below if you are interested in these multi colors right here. I think I'm going to make me another one. Um, I don't know what color. I'm going to play around with it just like you all are. So grab your hook, grab your yarn. The tutorial link is right down below. Make sure you click on that. Also make sure that you send me over a picture of it via email. My email address is in the description box below. Let's have fun. Let's get ready for the spring. I don't know about you guys, but it's cold here in Chicago, so we need those little pop-up things that's going to get us ready for the next season. Not that I'm rushing this season, but actually getting us ready for the next season. All right, you guys, uh, what do you think? Let me know down below and check out the um, the tutorial. I tr Trust me, you're going to have a lot of fun. All right, you guys, until next video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it out. I mean, share. Sharing is caring. I'll see you guys in our next video. But until then, always remember, y'all, Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll check with you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.